we didn't really know too much about them, so we didn't know how, to, how they were going to play. And, uh, it was frustrating at times. Obviously, the offside trap and uh, the way they, they set up was all new to us. But I think we got better. We got um, we fixed a few things at half-time, and I thought we were a little bit more more clinical in the second half. I don't think our finishing was great, especially in the final third. We could have done a lot better. But uh, irrespective of that, I think uh, they gave us a good fight. They, they competed well. They kept working hard, and uh, they made a good match of it. And you've got to respect that. You know, from a small island of Camors and a team of amate- well, semi-professional amateurs, it was very, very good. And, uh, a good wake-up call for some of us. But overall, I've got to be happy with the 5-0. Obviously, we wanted more, but I think, you know, it's OK. We'll build on from here. We rested a couple of players, so it's a good start for us. At least today, we, we had a taste of it, because I was, I was telling a lot of the players, because a lot of our players haven't really played in Africa. You know, there's a handful that have, but a lot of them haven't. And I told them what to expect, but at least now they've had a first-hand experience in some of those issues. And I told them, that's at home. It's going to get a lot worse. And we've got to learn to be uh, mentally strong and accept those things and get on with the game. You know, and that's a very tough thing to do, but I just hope that we can build on from this one and know what to expect. But I agree with you fully, and I'm glad you saw it. But I think I don't think you should accept it, because we accept it, it just gets worse and worse. But there's nothing we can do right now. We've got to get on with it. Tout le monde s'est cotisé pour pouvoir venir ici. C'est un peu un rêve pour eux de jouer contre un champion. Je tiens à dire aussi aux gens d'ici, bon, j'ai été joueur. It was very clear. We play against a professional team. Uh, just to remind you, we come from Comoros. All the teams there are amateurs. Uh, for us to travel here to South Africa, we have to put the money together for the team to travel to South Africa. And uh, I have played in uh, Champions League. Uh, the coach has played for Marseille. I played in Champions League. And uh, they always say you have to respect your opponent. And I respect Orlando Pirates as a big champion. We always felt that we had to rest some players. You know, both, both Ginyama and, and Collins, it's very difficult for them to play two games in the same week. You know, so it's almost like um, giving Collins a bit of a rest because uh, Collins would never be able to play uh, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, and nor could Tsunyama. You know, that's just the way they are, the way they're built. So you've got to be a, a little bit of a rotation with the two of them. On the other side, uh, Patrick Ponguayo coming in to give Happy a rest and uh, Ayanda to give uh, Sanguini a rest to give him a, a chance to play. So if they get called on, they're also a little bit better. I mean, you saw today. Pongwayo needed game time. You know, he was very rusty. Uh, Yanda was okay, and Trinyama was was okay. But you know, the opposition will get stronger. You know, to be different. I mean, if you notice the guy defending Trinyama, you know, took him up to his shoulder. It's not going to happen in the PSL. So it's not a true reflection of what's coming. So yeah, it was good that we built a squad and we got a few more players. It was more like who do we rest? You know, and we could have rested another three or four, but we didn't want to make drastic changes. We might do that on the return game.